Hello, everybody. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am Brother Zana David. I want to share with us what the Lord revealed to me, why so many hearts are hardened and others are lukewarm in the case of Christians. In case you are new, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Zana E. David and Igwa I had a, I had the voice of God as I was waking up from sleep few days ago and the voice was saying satan has cast upon the hearts of men darkness so that they would not receive the truth of the gospel uh, and the lord told me put this thing down not it down now so i got up and i just did a voice recording so that i would not forget it second corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 uh, has something to say about this. It says, in whom the God of this world, the God of this world is Satan, in whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Satan is hardening the hearts of men against the truth. Uh, I remember uh, Sister Grace Iwere, uh, who is now called Mrs. Uh, Evangelist Mrs. Grace Onyejiaka. Uh, the audio of the confession is on Igwe uh, uh It's titled "Former Satanist." Former Satanist. Confession of former Satanist of the Mammoth Kingdom. Uh, I think uh, I will try my best to put the link in the video uh, in the description of this video. She said that Satan rolls a big stone uh, uh, in, on top of the hearts of men in the kingdom of darkness that Satan could remove the heart of a man and put it under a stone. He could also put a stony heart uh, in a person when uh, the soul is captured. This is one of the highest heights of uh, Satan, satanic imprisonment. The Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26, that God promised us that he will remove our hearts of stones, put a new spirit in us, and give us the heart of flesh. So God even knows that Satan could cast darkness upon the hearts of men and also give them stony hearts. I also remember, uh, I think 2015, I was uh, conducting deliverance for a little girl of about 10 years old who was possessed with the spirit of witchcraft. She was deeply involved in witchcraft at that early age. She told me that uh, one of the things they do against the children of these days is that they will put some objects into their ears and plug their ears spiritually so that even when their parents talk to them they no longer obey them at all and i just want to use this opportunity to talk to parents address parents christian parents if your children are stubborn uh, i know some children are because of youthful exuberance are just stubborn but there are cases where uh, there are demonic interference, witchcraft interference. So don't just beat your children and begin to discipline them. Take your time to pray for them, especially deliverance prayer. Pray for them very, very well because Satan is attacking humans. He is attacking the human heart. He is attacking the human, uh, the, the human soul so much. The Bible says that out of the heart, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. The Bible also says that God looks at the heart and not the human appearance. What that means is that whatsoever thing that man does, God traces it to the root. The root of it is a heart. That is where you can get the original intent of man's behavior. Uh, if you look at the appearance alone, you may not get everything about what man is doing. But if you look straight into the heart, you are going to find the foundation. You're going to see the foundation of the human behavior. If your heart is under attack, 
probably you are lukewarm and you try to put in effort and nothing is coming out or you just see that you know what is good but you can not just do it you are under the power of the flesh and even when you want to do good you can't just do good at all or you have come to the point of not even uh, putting in any effort at all it's like oh let's eat and drink for tomorrow we'll die or let's do let's, let's do evil that good may come if you have come to that point please declare a fast for yourself and pray to the lord i, I am not uh, a super righteous person i have my own challenges i have i will never lie to you i have my own challenges there are times that i mean want to do good but see myself not doing the good i actually want to do and i know it's a battle there are times that i have to declare fast for myself and fast and pray and ask the lord to restore me i'm not talking about living in sin but i'm talking about when you see that the, the, the your self-control is going downward you are going downward in fact can't even read the bible anymore and and do your normal study but just being busy you just need to put some level of self-control put some measures in place self con level of self-control if you can't study the scripture you can't memorize again do some things okay i just remember now let me tell you something i did today if you look at my palm you see uh scripture i wrote in my hand uh you may not see very well I wrote a scripture in my head because I actually wanted to memorize it. So I have to put it in my head. It's a memory verse of the day. And anytime I look at my pen, I will see it and memorize it and memorize it. Look at my phone if I'm not with my Bible so that I can, uh, if I'm making a mistake, I will correct it immediately. So you put some measures in place. One of the measures you can put in place is that you cry to the Lord, ask the Lord to help you, remind him of his word, uh, Ezekiel 36 verse 26, if I verse 25 says, the Bible says, he will sprinkle, I will sprinkle clean waters upon you and you shall be clean. So ask the Lord to sprinkle his clean water upon your heart, remove every demonic uh, coldness from you, every lukewarmness, and ask the Lord to help you. The race is not easy. It is very very difficult especially now that the world is turning their back against god and now that we don't have uh, righteous people anymore only just a few are thinking about righteousness even so many so-called christians no longer think about righteousness if your heart is cold if you uh, no longer feel like uh, pressing hard to do what is good please cry to the lord to remove that darkness out of you or probably you know that you are doing something that is wrong people are talking to you or the spirit of the lord is correcting you but you don't feel like uh, repenting from it please you just need to declare a fast study god's word cry to the lord to help you the lord knows your heart he can take away every heart of stone he can take away every sickness he can perform uh, surgical spiritual surgical operation on your heart and remove whatsoever thing that is not of his he will put renew a right spirit within you again he will cleanse your heart please we we need to turn back to god and ask the lord to help us in our weaknesses i am not condemning you if you are a lukewarm christian i'm not condemning you but the lord will condemn you on the last day if you fail to do what is right if you fail to go to the lord to heal you just as our bodies can be sick so also our spirits can be sick if your spirit if your soul is sick please go to your maker he can heal you he can return you back to himself if you find this message useful please share this message and i also quickly want to add that the word of god has a lot of work to do in our hearts the more we look at the word of god the word of god is a mirror the more we look at the word of god the word of god is christ himself we are transformed into the very image of christ and the bible says in joshua chapter 1 verse 8 that this book of the lord shall not depart out of their mouth but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you can be careful to observe diligently whatsoever thing that is 
written in it. In this, we get good success. Thank you for listening. Share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channels, Osana E. E. David and uh, Igor Ayopuna. Uh, visit my websites, iguayopuna.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.